but he done saved you from some shit, okay? Currently walking to go take the bus. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days because past couple of days I had so much going on. So, so much that I can't even begin to express. Okay, I feel like, and it's so early. Right now it is 6.12. I feel like the art of like growing up and how you know that you've really grown is when you are able to look at the things that you've done and to see where you have made mistakes and you know hold yourself completely accountable for the mistakes that you have made and just know that you know whatever happens as a result of the decisions that you decided to make then you either have to work on fixing that or live with whatever it is that comes with it and for the last couple of days i've been going back and forth with myself just battling the thought of that and honestly it has just been riveting but um, yeah it's just been a lot the past couple of days and honestly the only thing that has just been keeping me in the mind frame of going 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 is the fact that I have to be at work and so I have to be productive and get it together to be productive and an active member of society at work but I'm about to go get this bus Hi guys, I just got home and like cleaned up and changed and stuff and I bought this mango on the road because I felt like I was absolutely starving and lately I've really been drawn to fruits more than anything else but this really really good. I let them put salt, pepper and like um lemon juice on there and it's bussing. I went on the avenue because I had to buy one of those collapsible suitcases for my mom and I ended up buying one for myself too because it is a bigger suitcase so when you want to pack stuff like you can hold a lot of stuff in there but this is the first time vlogging in a couple of days so hello really just wanted to pop in and say hi and I'm about to enjoy some TV because I haven't watched TV in a couple of days maybe a day or two also, the other day when I checked my schedule, they put me on to work every single Sunday for the next six weeks. And then, um, I really like working the weekends one, because the weekends are so much more chill. I literally told the lady no seed. This is a mango seed. Yeah, so I just went to the staffing coordinator today, and I told her to like put me on for the Saturdays too, because um, you're going to put me for all these Sundays. Might as well put me on for the Saturday so I can make the extra money. And so I'm working every Saturday for the next month. And then there's one outstanding and she said I should come back to her at a later date. So we'll do that. But yeah, for the most part, I really, really like the weekends because it's so much more chill. And I really can't put my finger on what the difference is between the weekend and the days of the week. Why it's so much more chill on the weekend. Separate from the fact that, you know, there's not the same amount of employees there. Like the staffing coordinators and like the higher ups are, some of them are not there. But still, it looks like there's less staff because people hate working on the weekends. I don't know what it is. Like I feel like even if you want to go somewhere, when you leave work at 3 o'clock, you still have enough time to go where you want to go. Today they were asking if somebody wanted to pick up an extra shift, which was the 3 to 11. And I'm just like, no. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna lose my shit if I do, okay? And then I had an appointment too, and so I didn't want to do that. And it's so crazy that my appointment didn't even have to go back tomorrow, so that too was annoying. And I'm like, wow, the lady really didn't even call me and like update me. She just let me pay $28 on an Uber to come here, and I have to come back tomorrow anyways. I was so tight, because I'm like, the $28 I could have saved, but the way how I be looking at things these days is that, listen, if you went somewhere and found out that you went for no reason, it's not really no reason. Like, the man up there saved you from something. You don't know what it is right now, but he even saved you from some shit, okay? And so that's how I've been looking at it lately, and because of that, I haven't really been stressing when something doesn't work out the way how I want it to. I just be chilling and keeping it pushing. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to watch some videos right now and stuff. I think I have a few videos that I have to edit to. So I'm going to look into that. But even if I don't do it right now, like I have a couple of days where I can use to do that. But yes. You know what I love when I wash my hair? How 
sleek I can get my bun, okay? When my hair is dirty, the bun gets bigger and bigger and my hair gets puffier and puffier and it's so much harder to lay down. But I washed my hair last night and I'm living for it. If uh, it wasn't such a hassle, I'd probably wash my hair every single day just so I could, you know, have this look. And honestly, the microfiber wrap that I bought for my hair at the Dollar Tree is just golden. And ever since I bought that wrap and liked it, I have not been able to go back there and find a second one because I wanted to get a second one. And I'm really, really bummed out. Looks like we're gonna have a little storm. It's looking crazy outside. I have a suitcase that I packed for my mom with stuff for my daughter and my sister and like a lot of things for my mom. I need to unpack that suitcase and pack it into, let me show you guys the suitcase that I bought for her. So guys, this is the collapsible suitcase. That's what it looks like. And it gets so big. My mom said, when, one time when she was coming through the airport, one of the immigration ladies told her that when you're traveling, this is one of the better suitcases to buy, especially if you're gonna carry a lot of things because this one is lighter than the actual suitcase. Like the other suitcase, I have it packed and everything already. Let me show you guys. It's already packed, but this one isn't mine and the zipper is broken. And so the lady was pretty much telling my mom that the collapsible one is two pounds and this one is so much heavier. So the collapsible one, cuts down the weight of an actual suitcase itself which I feel like is pretty dope but you know in this day and age people want to be cute when they travel don't nobody want to be carrying the collapsible ugly suitcase and so because of that nobody does it is going to storm outside okay so guys I'm gonna use this time to do some packing and give you guys a nice little time lapse so y'all could watch hopefully nothing with personal information is out and exposed and if it is then boy Wrong side! This is already such a struggle. unpacking this one into that one right there and there's still one more level that I can unzip to like bring it up a little bit more so there's still that whole top section and if I should unzip it one more time that other section so all I've really used is that, is that bottom section and this suitcase was full nothing else could hold in there so that really makes the world of difference and I absolutely love it so I'm gonna just roll them into the bedroom there and just leave it there I think tomorrow my mom is supposed to be popping by to pick this up I'm not sure but we're gonna have to see 